What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. Is not selling out, selling out. So this is about, you know, the white man's eyes being colder, right? Um, so this is um, a card, as you can see. You know, it doesn't focus right now on this camera, but whatever. But this card, they make pralines. Or, or people call them pralines, right? And this is about... Um, I was listening to the Breakfast Club and they talked about the big baller brand coming out with like some eight hundred dollar sneakers. And then DJ Envy was like, Oh, that's a lot of money. And then Charlemagne brought up a good point. He was like, Listen, man, we don't do that when all these other when it's white people. We don't. And it's kind of ironic because you know, you get on Instagram and they have the little Instagram TikTok story video where people are taking that. You know, why Why are you not famous? Because you don't share my stuff. Why you don't share my stuff? And I thought about that in a sense because, you know, I try. Like th these, this is figures, right? Figures has phones and earbuds, televisions. You know, it's a black-owned company. You know, if, you know, this, you know, this is, well, if you can see it, king and queen, Cause these are pralines, they're really good. You know, my lady bought me those. You know, of course, if you look behind me from time to time, you're gonna see, you know, shout out to that brother O'Shea, Duke Jackson, gave me a dope plaque. And I really, I appreciate it to this day. That's why it's gonna stay here. You know, you see the black pan, the power of the black panda behind me. You know, you see Muhammad Ali over here. And, you know, sometimes if you see that little watermark at the bottom, um, that's me, of course, but I'm wearing a Tuskegee uh, University um, cardigan sweater. I wound up giving that one away to a friend of mine. I had a couple of them, actually. Tuskegee, and I think I had an Alabama a and and I had a couple, and I have a bunch of, you know, hoodies and stuff like that. But this comes to the, to, to the point where I make it my business to go out of my way from time to time. You know, I, I try to make it a monthly thing. You know, to to, to to buy something from somebody black, you know, like multiple times in a month, multiple times. And I think about it because we don't, you know, you can't buy, if I, I can't, I can't afford a pair of $800 sneakers. I don't even, I'm a cheapskate to be perfectly honest. So, you know, I'm perfectly fine, fine shopping at like Ross and Burlington Coat Factory getting you know, twenty dollar pair of sneakers because I either I either run and work out in my sneakers or, you know, every now and then I go out, but whatever. But I'm this watch, Italian Twine. This is a black black owned company. You know what I'm saying? And, and for some of y'all who think it stopped, it doesn't. The inside does the ticking. You see the, the that bottom part. The 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 the, the, the regular second hand is like a um it's like a stopwatch hand on this one. Uh, but here's the thing. When it comes to us and black folks, you know, you won't drive across town. You know, we have a stereotype that we won't drive across town to support a, somebody black. Or we won't even go online to, to, to look for something for somebody black. Specifically. And buy it. Um, but, and if we do, it costs too much. But we we automatically buy something from a predominantly white owned business that may be overpriced also. See, are you selling out when you're not trying to buy your own people's stuff or or, or at least an image promote a black brand? Are you selling out? What do you think on that? Because Cause I I finally found a grocery store that sells wrap snacks, so I gotta get you know. So when I'm buy you know I'm gonna go to that grocery store to get wrap snacks. That's the chips I'm gonna buy from now. On. Wrap snacks. I'm just be honest with you. You know if I could find uh if, if I find Master P's um uh rice and pancake mix, I'm gonna get Master P stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. You know because I know if the wrap snacks there, his stuff is just gotta be on the way. Um. I used to buy certain alcohols. I bought um, Snoop Dogg's 
I don't know why it's like crime criminal 19 or something like that. But I bought that. I was looking for Intercept. That's a wine. That's uh, Charles Woodson's. I can't buy Earl Stevens because they don't sell it in my state. That's E40 stuff. Have I bought Ciroc before? Yes. Have I bought Branson before? Yes. Um, I never bought Duce, actually. Uh, but I don't have a problem with doing things like that. But I find, you know, but, and then when people make references about black business, we always kind of take a shot at Jordans. You're buying Jordans blah, 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 and you're buying sneakers and, and, but sneakers means Jordans. But if it's a $150 pair of other type of sneakers that aren't Jordans, or if it's a 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 pair, you know, pair of Balenciagas or Gucci's or, or Louis Vuitton shoes or, you know, are we just Yeezys? But, you know, it's, it's, it's that type of, is that a sellout mentality? Because to me it is. It becomes a sellout mentality. Because man, you know, I, I won't, I won't go over here. Like I remember when I went to Vegas, um, one of the first things I did, there's an M&M's, uh, chicken and waffles joint. I think I, that's a black owned joint. It's like right across the street from the stratosphere. But also there's a chicken and waffles joint called Lolo's. It's like on the other side of town. Um, cause I went there going to, um, I think the Grand Canyon, not the Grand Canyon. I'm tripping. Um, the Hoover Dam. So I went, ate there on the way to the Hoover Dam. Like I'll do stuff like that. I go to, if I go to a different city, Hey, where's the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Some of the clothes I buy, I used to, you know, I spent, I'm not a big Jordan person, but I've, I got like three pairs of Jordans, you know, you know, because black brand. I remember I used to get my son truck fit when he was younger. And it was, you know, I, I think, you know, do I like Wheezy as a, not that much, but it was black. It was a little black kid on it with a skateboard. That was dope. I got billionaires boy stuff. You know, you know, I got these kind of things because ultimately what good is it if, if you know, O'Shea's shirt, uh, uh, black men are perfect. I got two of them. They both blue because I like blue. You know what I'm saying? So this idea that when somebody's black is selling something, we kind of turn into sellouts because the irony about this, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to be out of here. We say on one end that, you know, we make everything cool. We are the culture that makes everything cool. So if we co-sign it. It's, you know, everybody else flocks to it and it, and it, and it, and it blows up their brand and it makes it blow. But ironically, when it comes to a black brand, we leave it, we'll leave it hanging until white folks say it's cool. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And then when white folks say, oh, oh, it's the culture now, they like the black stuff. It's ridiculous. Like there's an African, um, Ashro, A S H R O. They sell like, like African style, uh, pattern style clothing, but they have some things that are just dope, like universally. And you know, I, I had an ex, I used to buy stuff out of that and I kind of got it. I, I got it actually from a white lady who, who would, who bought stuff from Astro and she, and her friends could never figure out where she got the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But same thing with these other products, you know, you know, I still, I got, I want to say I got stubs, barbecue sauce and all that other stuff like that. I got all that kind of stuff, but I don't do rubs like that. Cause normally I make my own, but anyway, I'm out like, share, subscribe, but I try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.